Hi everybody! Today we're going to be working on division and we are going to show our work using an array and an area model. So for these two strategies we're going to be either drawing number disks or rectangles for our area model. One of the things we have to remember is what a remainder is and we're going to remember that a remainder is the number that is left remaining or it is the leftovers. Let's get started. For this problem, we are going to solve division using an array. So in the first problem, we see 24 divided by 4. So I am going to make four groups of something to make 24. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. There are my four groups. Now I'm going to add and count until I get to 24. So I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So now I'm going to count and see. There were 4 up and down. Now I'm going to count and see how many went side to side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 24 divided by 4 equals 6. So my quotient is my answer in division. So 6 will go right there. I didn't have any leftovers, so I have 0 remainder. So now I'm going to use the area model to demonstrate what I just did with the array. We should be able to get the same answer. So area is focusing on the number of squares on the inside. So I need to make a rectangle that is four, it goes four down and six across. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if I count inside, I would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you, of course, don't need to write the numbers inside the boxes, but I wanted you to see that the inside of this rectangle, the area, is 24. So can you show 24 divided by 4 with one rectangle? Yes. There was no remainders. Next, we are going to solve using an array and area model. The first one has done for you on your homework worksheet. So, if I do my cubes, my action were to solve, and they want me to solve using an array and area model. So I have two things that I need to do. So our problem is 44 divided by 7. So I know one of my groups is going to be a group of 7. So I have a group of 7, and I'm going to count by 7s to see if I can get to 44. So I have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, uh-oh, if I do another group of 7, I'm going to be at 49, but I only want 44, so I stopped at 42, I need to add on 2 more that don't fit into my groups of 7. So if I look at this problem, my final answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 groups of 7 with a remainder 2. Now, let's show the area model. I'm going to draw my rectangle.
I have 7 on one side, 6 on the bottom, which is 42. And then I have two extra little boxes as my remainder two. So my answer is still 6 remainder 2 no matter what strategy I use.